show. Whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, or President's Day, we're going to be delivering a new business lesson to you with our daily 10 minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co founder of the $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. If you have not checked out our free course on idea validation about nailing your business idea, make sure you check it out. It's completely free. It's a seven-part video course and workbook, and you can ask questions. Just head on over to 100mba.net slash free hyphen course. In today's lesson, you will learn how Twitter polls can help your business. If you haven't noticed, Twitter has launched a new feature called polls, and you can ask questions and set up a poll really easily and get some really great information from your audience. So in today's lesson, we're gonna go into how to actually set this up, as well as what are some great uses of using these polls on Twitter and how it can help your business today. Let's get into it, guys. Let's get down to business. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by HostGator. If you're looking for an all-in-one web hosting solution, you got to go with HostGator. With their 24-7 live support via chat, phone, or email, you can get somebody to help you out with your website needs any time of day, any day of the week. Whether it's registering a domain name, getting web hosting, creating a website, design services, marketing services, they got you covered. And best of all, they do it all without breaking the bank. If you go to HostGator.com and use promo code OMARHOOKUP, you could save 25% off web hosting. Again, that's promo code OMARHOOKUP when you go to HostGator.com. So recently, Twitter released polling in their tweet application. This means you can set up a simple poll question inside of a tweet. I'm going to show you how to set it up as well as how to use this to get some really good data from your audience for your business. All right, let's talk about the whole creation of a poll. It's actually pretty simple. If you go to the tweet button up in the top right-hand corner of Twitter, once you've signed in, there's a little poll button at the bottom. Once you click it, it will allow you to enter two choices, answer choices for your poll. Now you can add more choices, up to four actually. The maximum is four. And you could just click the add choice link right under the two default choices. And all you gotta do is just add a question inside where you would normally tweet. And it actually says add question right there. So for example, If you're in the fitness industry and you want to ask a question about how long do you normally work out, or more precisely, how long are you willing to work out every single day? Let's say, for example, you're doing a program where you work out every single day. So you just pop the question in the tweet box and simply ask, if you were to work out every single day, what is the maximum amount of time you would spend working out? And the choices could be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Those could be your choices for the polling answers. Now, there's one thing you need to keep in mind. You are still bound by the 144 character limit of Twitter, and that includes the question itself and all the poll answers or choices. So the total character count of the question and the choices needs to be 144 characters or less. So you want to keep it to the point, and you don't need to use all four choices. You can make it only two choices or three choices. So I'm going to set up a poll question myself right now as I'm talking to you, and the question is, How often do you listen to The $100 MBA Show? The first choice is going to be every day. The second choice is a few times a week. And the third choice is I've just started listening. And you can check out my poll if you just go to my handle. BizRepublic is my handle on Twitter, B-I-Z Republic. And you can see how this all works. All right, now that we know how to set up a poll and you've seen an example of mine, why would you use this and how would you use this to improve your business? One, it's a really quick and easy way to get some really precise information. Remember, in your tweet, you don't have to only use words. You can use links. So if you want to link to a landing page and you want to test out which landing page you like better, you can put two links and just write which one is better, one or two, and put the two different links and you can have one or two in the choices. The point here is that we take so much time to build our Twitter audience and to have so many followers, but now that you have them, you can ask them some really precise questions to improve your products and services. You can also get some feelers about if people are interested in a new product that you're thinking about. We all have these great ideas that come to our heads all the time, but when it comes to implementation, we're all worried about if someone's going to buy this. You may want to use some pricing choices or strategies here. You can put a landing page and say, what do you think is a fair price for this product? And put different pricing options. And you might be surprised. You might think, oh, everybody's going to choose the cheapest option. But no, many times people choose the actually most expensive option because they see there's so much value. But at least with polling, you can get some hard data to make a decision on. 
You also can get people engaged with your content. Remember I gave that option for the two landing pages, but you could do the same thing with podcast episodes or blog posts. Which blog post title is more interesting to you? Or which of these published blog posts piques your interest more? And you can build upon that blog post in your next blog post. So it helps you understand what's already working in your business. If you're just getting started, this is a great way to get feedback on logo design, on tagline, on headlines. Again, you can use links to show people images. Of course, if you're using a tagline, you can use text as one of your choices. And remember with Twitter, you can add people. You can call the attention of people that you want to maybe get their feedback of, maybe a mentor of yours. So don't forget that. You can add people with Twitter and get them involved in the conversation as soon as possible. Guys, I got more on today's topic, but before that, I gotta give a love to today's sponsor, Earth Class Mail. Guys, I wanna tell you about Earth Class Mail. It moves your snail mail to the cloud, giving you instant access 24 seven, and it integrates with the tools and services you use every day. It's crazy we moved everything we do for business over to the digital world, but we still need to pick up, sort, and manage physical mail. Luckily, there's Earth Class Mail, where you can get all your mail scanned and accessible online 24 seven. You can search your mail, you can send invoices over to your accounting software, sync important documents into the cloud storage, deposit checks, and it really just makes running your business a whole lot easier. You also get a real professional dress to share publicly with customers, business partners, and investors. And you'll never need to worry about someone showing up to your front door if you run your business from home. Now, I've checked out Earth Class Mail, and I think it's a brilliant solution that's perfect for businesses and independent entrepreneurs of all types. Visit earthclassmail.com slash MBA, and you get your first month of service free when you sign up. That's earthclassmail.com slash MBA. One of the reasons why social media is so powerful is because it allows you to be social with your customers, with your audience members. And by running polls, you're going back and forth with them. It's not just content blasting where you're sharing your latest sale, your latest product, your latest blog post. You're asking from your audience what they want. And if anybody checks you out on Twitter and they see that you are running polls, they get a different impression about who you are as a business. They see that you're interactive, that you're a listener. They're actually creating products based on what your customers need rather than what fulfills your ego. So just by running polls, that alone will provide a different image for your social media profile, let alone all the benefits that I mentioned in today's episodes about the information that you can get from people that are actually following you. These people that are following you on Twitter, they're interested in what you have to say. They're interested in your products and services. So their feedback, the information they're going to give you is worth something. They're not random people. They're exactly who you're looking for. They're your target audience and a perfect customer. All right, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have two minutes after the show, we would love for you to drop us an iTunes rating and review. By leaving us an iTunes rating and review, you not only make us feel great and put a smile on our face because you read every single one, but you also help us reach new listeners just like you. Because on iTunes, when you leave ratings and reviews, you help that show get more exposure, help us get in front and help new business builders. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. That's it for me. But before I go, I want to leave you with this. There are so many tools out there, whether it's in social media like Twitter or Facebook or using webinars or whatever it is. I always say this, tools are great, but it's how you use them. It's how you utilize them. And for me, I think the polling in Twitter really forces you to get interactive. And that's why I encourage you to do that. I encourage you to use polls so you can get interactive with your customers. It's a little bit more work because you have to respond and you have to take a look at the results but it's better for your business in the long run. And here's a quick tip. You may want to give a little incentive, a little bonus for those who actually answer the poll. Mention really quickly, free gift for those who respond. And those who respond, you can just tell them to email you and you can reply to their email with a free gift, whether that's an ebook, a PDF download, or a free course. Great way to reward people that have given back to your business. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode, but I'll check you in tomorrow's episode where you talk about does every dollar count in business? Does every expense, does every refund, every sale, does that, do they all count? Are they all equal? Should you be penny pinching and watching every dollar come in and out? Or is that just a detail that we really don't need to focus on? We'll talk about it in tomorrow's episode. So I'll see you then. Take care.